Right, we're working on a 2003 Chevy Impala that we suspect has a plugged exhaust. And I want to walk you through procedure on <clears throat> knowing if our exhaust is plugged or if we have a low fuel issue. Symptoms are the car doesn't go over 30 miles an hour at wide open throttle. And I want to show you how to configure a scan tool to look at some relevant data at wide open throttle. So the first thing I want to do, I already have the vehicle identified. We're going to go to the custom data setup, custom data list, and we're going to speed up this data process by deselecting some of the data pids. We don't need to look at everything. The ones we want to look at is this stuff relevant to the wide open throttle operation. And it's going to be my O2. Now we can look at the downstream too. It doesn't really matter in this application. There's only one upstream, one downstream. I also want to look at my map, voltage, and my mass airflow frequency. These other data pids I don't need to be looking at while we're driving. I'll throw the vehicle speed up there so we can see that too. Press no. One's up top. I can't do anything about TPS is good, RPM. So we have our O2, bank one throttle angle, map voltage, mass airflow, vehicle speed. All right, let's go. What we're gonna do on this test drive is we're going to look at primarily the O2 sensor, O2 sensor one, which is the upstream O2. There's only one on this car. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this O2 at wide open throttle. And the reason we're doing this, again, the car will not get out of its own way. We have an issue of low power, and we wanna know if we're going in the direction of fuel or if we're going in the direction of a plugged exhaust. So we're gonna get down to a hill, and we're basically gonna wind out first gear. Wide open throttle, and we're gonna see what kind of data readings that our O2 sensor's given us. And this is gonna give us an indication of whether or not the vehicle's running rich, or whether it's running lean. If this O2 sensor drops down to near zero volts at wide open throttle on this test drive, we're gonna go after fuel next, which might be mass airflow, might be fuel pressure. If it stays rich, then we're gonna go in the direction of a plugged exhaust. Go ahead and nail it. We're, we're at the floor right now. We are at wide open throttle. 4.49, you see my O2 is at over 800 millivolts. Okay, we just let off. So on that first run, we're definitely running rich. Hear a little whistle in the intake. Kind of tough to do this. We are at wide open throttle. This vehicle is not going over 25, 26 miles an hour up this hill. We're still at wide open, stay to the floor, stay on the floor. Engine's knocking, all right, go ahead and let off. This vehicle did not go over 29 miles an hour wide open throttle up this little grade. We got some weird whistling going on from this engine too. But here's what we know from this test drive. The vehicle is getting enough fuel. We're not gonna do fuel pressure. We're not gonna go after the mass airflow. First test we're gonna do, we get back to the shop. We're gonna pull the O2 out. We're gonna do a back pressure test. Okay, we have the O2 sensor removed. We have an exhaust back pressure tool connected to where the O2 port is. And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the pressure in the exhaust uh, at idle and at 2,000 to 3,000 RPM. So we're looking at our back pressure tool and you can see right here is three PSI, right here is six and then nine, and then 12 on the scale. We're near zero, a little bit out of calibration on the gauge, no big deal, go ahead and start the car. Okay, right off the bat, just simply at idle speed, we, we're already looking what, about two PSI? What's that look like to you guys? One and a half to two, somewhere in that range. 
to have one and a half PSI of back pressure at idle is horrible. We're already on the right track. We already know where we're going with this. Uh, go ahead and hold the RPM up, 2,500 to 3,000. Hold it steady. So we got six, seven PSI. All right, let it idle. Seven PSI of back pressure at 2,500 RPM. That is absolutely confirmed that this exhaust is restricted. Okay, we got a melted cat. Um, it's more than just replacing the cat. What we got to figure out now is what caused this to happen. Misfiring, fuel trim problems, fuel issues, somewhere in the life of this car has caused this cat to overheat. So we have to address that too. Uh, looks like original plug wires. We don't know if this car had a misfire at any point in time, but again, we need to check for that. This car definitely needs a cat. But what we want to do is tell the customer, replace the cat, and then we need to look at the car and make sure all the other systems are working like they're supposed to. Okay, so review. We test drove it, used the O2 wide open throttle. We said the engine was running rich, so we didn't go in the direction of fuel. We brought the car back to the shop, knowing it had low power. We went right after the exhaust because of our test drive and our O2 readings, confirmed plugged exhaust. That's it.